So the question is how to run a marathon in three hours. That is a very, very difficult time. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of I'm intrigued by marathoners that want to run that fast for the distance. Um, I've, all, I've always felt that, you know, early on I was so caught up really in trying to run as fast as I could for the distance. But at the end of the day, how fast we run doesn't really matter. What matters is how can we assist other people and try to, you know, provide a solution to them and get them to achieve what we've done. I think that is far more rewarding than going out and doing it ourselves. Obviously, everybody's um, everybody that wants to go under a sub three hour marathon is highly driven, uh, highly focused, uh, wants success. And, and it doesn't matter exactly, you know, regardless what time it is. It doesn't matter if it's a five hour marathon or somebody that's just trying to finish the marathon. Somebody that's trying to get under the three hour marathon has got to do a lot of specific training that is not the norm. It's, you're not going to break a three hour marathon by kind of, you know, just half assing it, you know, during the week. It's just not going to happen. Anybody that goes, you know, anybody that finishes the marathon with a two in front of their finish time has put in a ton of work has put in a lot of track work at far below um, 652 per mile or 541 per kilometer. So they've got they've grown really accustomed to running at paces that are very, very highly anaerobic. They've taught themselves to run long distances with a higher heart rate. So, you know, how to run a marathon under three hours is, first and foremost, you're going to have to focus on extending the amount of time you're spending at a higher heart rate so you can get your body to start burning fat at a higher uh, race pace and then conserving carbohydrates. So right now if you're doing long runs every single weekend at just a you know just a moderate pace or just an easy pace um, you know anywhere from 16 miles to 24 miles and you're doing that every single weekend, my best advice I can give you, and I have two real, real big key advices, uh, suggestions here that I want to give you. One, vary up the pace of your long run. Don't just spend your weekends running, you know, long run 16, 24, up to 24 miles in length at one steady pace, just real easy. You know, that's a, that's a common mistake I was making when I was trying to uh, get under two hours and 22 minutes when I was still a 243 marathoner. And granted that's a very 243 was very very competitive still a very tough time but what i was trying to do was to chop that amount of time off so if say right now you're at like three hours and 45 minutes and you want to get down from 345 to 259 obviously there's some there's some significant changes in your training that you're going to have to uh, adjust one is definitely changing up how you're conducting that long run and you know getting to a point where you can extend the amount of time that you're spending at, at close to 652 mile pace or 541 per kilometer, preferably some of those miles inside of your long run, you want to run, you know, at like 615 mile pace or like 515 kilometer pace. And you want to change it up. You don't want to just, you know, if it's like a 16 mile run, try try warming up with like the first four miles nice and easy. And then four miles at, you know, six. 55 pace or 542 kilometer pace and you know hold it hold it there for four miles keep your heart rate high and then you know because another key thing is when you're doing the long run you want to get, get you want to be able to teach the body to clear lactic acid faster than it's building up in your bloodstream and that's a big reason why uh, a lot of runners start to slow down in, in the race obviously it's not that it's not that they don't have the driver the focus to, to break three hours they they they're doing the work they they're putting in the the mileage and trying to do everything out you know throughout the day correctly trying to get enough sleep trying to eat right and, you know they get to the race and like i got it you know what what did i do wrong and i was putting in the mileage and i was on pace for 16 miles and i just couldn't hold it for the whole way so something you, you have to keep in mind is just that's the thing. It's the it's really on a physiological uh, standpoint. It's it's the hydrogen ion within lactic acid that that shuts down muscle functioning. So the only way to be able to do that is to spend more time 
during that long run, during track sessions, during doing hill reps, uh, interval training, tempo runs, fartlek runs, where you're you're really running at very aggressive paces that are far ex- far exceeding sub three hour marathon pace. So how to run a marathon under three hours? That's one that's one very very important fundamental you want to keep in mind. You don't want to just get uh, you want to get comfortable running not only that pace, but you want to get well accustomed to running well below 652 mile pace or 541 kilometer pace. So a lot of that comes into play when you're doing, you know, track workouts where you're doing six by a mile and you're, you know, if it was me trying to break three hours, I would be doing mile repeats at, you know, probably between 555 and 605 per, per rep. So six by a mile, I would start the, the training session, the training block with like four to five minutes of recovery between each rep. And then as this, as the training plan progressed, I would focus on, you know, obviously increasing the volume, uh, increasing the intensity and lowering the, the amount of rest that I I would be giving myself. So, and obviously at the end of any, I prefer 16 week training plan. And that's what I've built into the, um, sub three hour marathon pro course that's on rendrymachieve.com. If you click on courses, the, uh, the information page is there. You can check it out. But what I talk about in that course is, you know, focusing on, uh, you know, just gradually over time, you know, extending or dropping down the amount of, uh, the rest that you're giving yourself between the, uh, reps on your track workouts, extending the amount of time you're spending at near or far below uh, sub four hour marathon uh, or sub three hour marathon pace in your long runs. Like one of the huge uh, tactics that I use when I, that I guarantee you uh, will work for you. It'll work for any runner, regardless what type of uh, particular marathon PR that they're going for is I would do uh, like, say I was doing a, a 20 mile run. I would drop, like I would, increase the paces that I was running, but I would drop like a a sub five minute mile right in the middle of a 20 miler and then back off and then spend like four or five miles running it at a steady pace, you know, allow myself to recover and then drop another sub five minute mile. So in your case, since you're trying to break, you know, hold 652, drop a, you know, drop a six minute mile, get in there where you're running like a, you know, you're, you're running a steady pace, like between 655 and 720 per mile pace, you know, holding that for uh, four to seven miles and then dropping a, a 545, 555, and then back off, allow yourself to recover, and then drop it again. So the, these types of uh, training sessions, in, in terms of the in terms of the long run itself, is going to help you significantly to, to get under three hours. And obviously, there's a lot of other steps involved. It's it's doing the track workouts at, you know, doing those mile repeats in 535 to 550 uh, mile pace with a, with a early on with a four to five minute recovery and then later on with a two to three minute recovery. So doing that, doing tempo runs where your heart rates between, uh, if you're doing heart rate monitor training, I would keep your heart rate between like 167 to 174 beats per minute. I'm a huge advocate of heart rate monitor training. I've, I've been taught that that particular aspect of training is is uh, mandatory by some of the world's best distance running coaches. So, as you already know too, uh, as a you know highly uh, accomplished runner yourself, you know that some of the top distance runners in the world use heart rate monitor training, and it's very important when you're trying to, um, you know, when you're when you want to run fast on a, on a recovery day, you really want to take off, but you, you have to force yourself to back off because the the true, uh, results is from the, is from the rest. It's from the recovery. It's not specifically from the workout itself. So it takes just as much discipline to, um, to recover and take it easy on your easy days as it does to do those hard training sessions. So vary up the paces on your long runs. Do that and, and don't do don't run hard every single weekend because obviously nobody can do that. It's a great way to, to uh, get burned out. And so definitely I would alternate one hard long run, follow the next week with a, a, a nice, relaxed, easy run. It doesn't have to be hard every single weekend. 
change that, vary, vary up the paces that you're doing in the long runs, it, it will help you tr tremendously to break, especially to break on a, a sub three hour marathon. I don't know where you're currently at, but if you're, you know, if you're on the high end, if you're at 359 or you're on the low end and you're, you know, you're getting close to sub three, definitely change how you're doing that. Work on extending the amount of time you're spending at near or below goal marathon race pace and keep your heart rate up at a higher rate uh, for longer periods of time. I was always focusing on uh, 160 heart rate. That's about 85 to 88% of my max heart rate. Um, and I would focus on doing that. Uh, obviously, I couldn't hold that early on in the training block. But as I got fitter, I was able to extend the amount of miles I was running. So just do that with your training as well. Focus on hydration. I'm going to keep reiterating this in, work, in videos and posts. I don't care if you're a five-hour marathoner, a six-hour marathoner, or you're trying to get down under four, you're getting on, under three hours. You've you've got to focus on your hydration. And a common thing is just just get out there, put your water bottles out. You know, every three three miles, three or four miles on your long run course, and get used to drinking and not just sipping. This is a big mistake I made over the years. Uh, I I had to learn the hard way. And I was told a few years too back that, you know, how important hydration was. And a lot of top marathoners are, they have these phenomenal half marathon PRs, but they keep getting the, the marathon wrong. You know, they'll hold the pace for so long and then they drop off. And it, it seems like every exercise physiologist that actually tests these athletes are seeing that they're running, they're trying to run 26 miles, 42.1 kilometers with hardly any hydration. They're not drinking enough, they're not taking enough calories. So those two key fundamentals, if you get those two right, you will run way below sub three hours. Now they're, granted, that's just scratching the surface. They're a sub three hour marathon, it involves, it does involve a little bit, a little bit of um, physiological talent. I, I would think they're, you obviously have to have some kind of, some form of speed stamina and the ability to hold uh, withstand that type of training but if you lack talent and you have a crap load of you know determination and focus you can overcome that I didn't personally have a lot of talent I had to rely on on just the love of running and trying to see how fast I could run uh, and just the encouragement of people around me I had great people around me you know my wife my brother friends and family and, and just that that you know just having your goals in, in mind so i hope this has been helpful definitely take those two uh leave a comment below uh give me a thumbs up if if you know if this is a great if you got something out of this video but definitely uh i would I really appreciate you leaving a comment just so i have an idea of where you're at and what is exactly what's giving you the biggest issue when it comes to this uh, sub three hour marathon time, how to run a marathon under three hours uh, takes a lot of, a lot of hard work, but those two things, if marathoners continue to focus on those two aspects, it's going to make the difference between running a three thirty marathon and running a two forty six marathon. So literally that big, big of a chunk of time that you can be taken off if you're focusing on those two areas. And don't think it's, don't think it's like, well, I'm be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting too old or I'm, my best running's behind me. That's not the case. I mean, the match, uh, give me an idea, the master's world record, at least for men, I got to look it up for the women. I think it's probably around 224 to 225 for women. But the, I know for the men's side, the master's world record, and that's 40 plus, 40 years and above is two hours, seven minutes and 50 seconds. So uh, if you're in the 40s and 50s, however old you are, it doesn't matter what age you are. These these are fundamentals that work regardless of what uh, capability you have, where you're currently at. So especially if you want to break three hours, you know, you already know it's a highly competitive time. So it's not gonna you're not gonna get sub three hours by merely being interested. You got to be fully committed. You know, you're all in. And um, so I'll continue to make other videos and write more posts about this. But this is just a subject that. Uh, you know, 5k to marathon. I can talk this stuff all day. I absolutely love this, but more importantly, it's not what we're, our accomplishments is giving back to other people. I think that's going to be, to me personally, it's way more rewarding than anything I've done uh, as a distance runner. Uh, 
how fast I've run doesn't help somebody else. I mean, what the knowledge that I have, the people that I've worked with over the years, sharing what they've taught me to you is far more rewarding. So uh, with that, have a great evening, great afternoon, great morning, wherever you are in the world. And until next time.